hello guys you're welcome back to my channel and if it's the first time of being here hello you are welcome to my channel my name is tessie so how are you all doing i hope you all are doing well so today we have the letters from Atiku versus buhari i know some of you guys will say ah, are we still in this issue but the truth is that we are still on it you guys know that uh, Atiku was not satisfied with the uh with the judgment of the apex court so he decided to take it to the supreme court so here we have the latest update for you guys i will just go ahead and read but before i continue if this is the first time you're watching my video or you have been watching without subscribing what are you waiting for in this channel we talk about politics metro news entertainment and all of that and believe me you don't want to miss any of those news anytime we publish them so please kindly hit on the red subscribe button down below also on the notification button in that way anytime we upload a new video they will notify you and i pray that the same way you guys are supporting us in this channel god will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in jesus name amen so without wasting much of your time let's go straight to this news supreme court may remove buhari as orderly nguta other pdp justice said to hear articles appeal a caucus of the People Democratic Party, PDP, in the House of Representatives have said that Mary Odeli, Sylvester Nguta, and other senior justice of the Supreme Court must be appointed to hear the appeal of Atiku Abubakar. Recall that Atiku, the People Democratic Party presidential candidate in the last election, have filed a P at the Apex Court to challenge President Mohammed Buhari's victory at the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal. It is a tradition at the Supreme Court for senior justice, including the Chief Justice of Nigeria, to preside over presidential election appeals. Odili, a senior justice, is the wife of Peter Odili, a former River State governor and founding member of the PDP. Rodis Vivo, another senior justice, is the father of Badebo, who ran for Lagos West Senatorial seat on the platform of the PDP in the last election. Nguta, a senior justice, resumed duty at the Supreme Court in September after being persecuted for alleged corruption by the Buhari's administration. In a statement signed by Kingsley Chinda, the PDP leader in the House of Rep, the CACO said that Nigeria has set the precedent of appointing the most senior justice to hear presidential election appeals since 1979. He said, the hearing of the appeal on the decision of the presidential election petition filed by Alahaji Atiku Abubakar and our great party, the People Democratic Party, PDP, begins a few weeks at the Supreme Court. The practice of selecting justice to hear the appeal is expected to precede the hearing. Going by the age long convention, what is not conventional is the present attempt to influence Chief Justice, Justice Ibrahim Tanko. Going by report in the media to subvert the age-long and time-tested practice, precedent, and convention of selecting the most senior justice of the Supreme Court to hear the presidential election appeal. Chief Justice of Nigeria, through time, have never in the selection of the Supreme Court election petition appeal panel surrendered to the phony detail of the ruling party. We are proud to state here that never in our great party's time in power did it or its personages deter the selection of panel member to chief justice. Never. In 2008, when President Buhari defeated the late President Omaru Yaradua, appealed the decision of the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, the then Chief Justice Le Bokutigi and panelled Justice Kasina Alu and others to hear the appeal that year. He was never detected to, nor was any attempt made by our great party to influence CGN, Justice Lebo Kutigi. 
who stuck to a conventional practice that consistently secured the seal approval of the past chief justice, CGN Fatai Williams. CGN Kasina Alu also followed the step of CGN Kutigo in 2011 and kept to the age-long conventional practice if there is any arm of government that regard precedent and practice as almost sacrosanct. It is the judiciary. Nigeria judiciary cannot revise that intentionally accepted practice of stare deceased just to please APC government and serve the interests of a selected individual or group. Selecting the Supreme Court panel isn't about picking pricking justice who suck blood out of justice, isn't about going outside the order of seniority to select justice which picker without independence. Jurisprudential thought and those singular attribute for selection is that they demonstrate permanent dislike for justice and passion for doing the binding of power. Surely, selection shown of pressure and influence of the government and the present ruling party is about demonstrating and holding firm to the constitutional powers of the Supreme Court to conduct its own affairs and not succumb to the passive power and corrosive external influences. To sidestep precedent and convention is to provide legitimacy to the ruling party whose talk in trade is ridiculing the judiciary. Chief Justice Ibrahim Tanko must stick to precedent and convention to preserve the integrity of the court as the last hope of the common man and citizen of our great country. We are, however, glad in that on Monday, 14th October 2019, through its director, press and information, Dr. Festus Akande, the Supreme Court refuted this intent and reassured the Nigerian public that it is out to serve the interests of the generality of the Nigeria masses and not selected individ individual or group. We therefore Pray and hope that the Supreme Court does not allow itself to fall into the gabble trap. We wish to state that selection of justice to hear the appeal of our great party's presidential candidate, Alahaji Atiku Abubakar, must be in accordance with the conventional practice admitting only of the selection of the first seven most senior justice of the Supreme Court, CGM Ibrahim Thanko, Justice Rodis Vivo, and others. Okay, guys, so this is basically uh, the news for you guys. And um, this case, I wonder when uh, is going to end because Atiku have refused to let go. And uh, talking about uh, the chief justice, before uh, 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 they will say anything, they will have to ask who, who put the justice there because they are supposed to know that before Buhari begins to change the former justice and begin to place his own people there, we should have known. Even the article, the People Democratic Party, they are supposed to know that he has plan. You understand? He has plan before he 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 started changing the former people that was there and start uh, putting his own people. You understand? So, <laughs> a, a a a boy cannot be greater than his master. I mean, a servant cannot be greater than his master. Buhari is the one that put them there. You understand? So they will take order from him before they will do anything. You understand? Buhari has proven to, you know, in Nigeria, they said nobody is uh, greater than the law. But Buhari has actually proven to be greater than the uh, the law. He has proven to be greater than the Nigeria constitution. You understand? Because everything is under his palm. Imagine when a court will give order for him to release someone. He will say no. He's not satisfied that the person should not be released. <laughs> you will know that uh, everything has gone out of hand. They gave order for Shawore to be released. He said no. So what are we not saying? It's just obvious that this case is going nowhere. It's definitely going nowhere. Atiku is just wasting money that he's supposed to use to help the poor masses. 
You understand? Because all these things they are doing now, they will not tell me it's free or this one. They are just wasting money, bribing people, doing this, doing that. At the end of the day, nothing good will come out of the uh, we come out of it. Why don't you use this same money you are wasting on this case that we all know that is going nowhere to empower the youth? Invest it on individuals, use it to do something good and wait for the ne next turn. Four years is not forever. Before you know now, the tenor is finished already. Now we are in October. Before you know, the year will run out. You understand? And uh, 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 the four years is just in a twinkle of eye. We finish it. Why don't, if Ati could use all this money that he's using to waste on unnecessary case, we know that nothing will come out from it. I'm saying it the way it is inside my mind. I know most of you will not agree with me. But if Buhari be who he is, Atiku will definitely not win this case. Sorry to bust your boo boo, but this is just the fact. So, if he use this whole money he's using to uh, attack, bribe, do this, do that, to just just to win a case, we know nothing will come out from it. If he use it to empower the youth, this same youth will be the one to fight for him tomorrow. You understand? But I don't know why it's just so difficult for some people to think well. Anyways, this is the news for you guys. We are still holding our arms to look. If he finally wins, I will tell him congratulations. You understand? But uh, it will be very unfortunate that after he spent all this money and uh, do all these things, at the end of the day, everything will be wasted. And maybe next time or again, he will start running, spending another money again on running and on uh, eh, 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 on the next tenor. So it will be so unfortunate that after he spent all this money, everything will become wasted. So we'll just sit, fold our arms and look what will be, what will be the outcome. We are here and uh, I am definitely here to bring the news for you guys, however it is. So that is it for you guys. And uh, I will just leave you guys to share your own opinion with me on the comment section. Please don't forget to share this video, like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Remain blessed until I come your way next time. Bye.